One morning, John D.'s doorbell rang. It was the public prosecutor, along with the police. John D. hadn't cheated anyone. He hadn't evaded paying taxes, and he hadn't robbed a bank. John D. is the owner of a mechanical engineering company, and he had designed, manufactured, and sold a machine. This machine. A machine that wasn't safe and that didn't have a CE marking. While working with this machine, Peter K. had seriously injured himself. So the public prosecutor shut down the machine in Peter K.'s company for the time being. No production, no turnover, no profit. And last but not least, a lifelong physical handicap for Peter K. Peter K. and his boss have sued John D. for compensation for the severe injury and for damages for the financial loss. The case made it into the headlines. The consequences? Loss of reputation, loss of customers, slump in sales. The case of John D. In no way an isolated case. Every year, approximately 270 million people worldwide suffer serious injuries due to faulty machinery, machines like those of John D. So that you can avoid the dangers to life and limb of your employees, Siemens helps you to make machines safe. In the next minutes, with an animated overview of the necessary measures, and after that, with experts who will pass on their knowledge in workshops and consulting sessions. For with solid knowledge and appropriate measures, you can achieve significant benefits and beyond that, show corporate responsibility for your employees. All necessary measures are derived from legally binding provisions. For machines that are introduced in the internal European market, the Machinery Directive 2006-42 EC applies. This machinery directive describes the requirements on the design and construction of safe machines. Only if you can prove that your machine fulfills the requirements of the machinery directive are you allowed to affix the CE marking and deliver the machine to your customer. The entire process towards a safe machine consists of three phases. The risk assessment, the risk reduction, and the proof. Risk assessment phase. In this phase, you identify and evaluate all hazards originating from the machine. First, systematically identify all reasonably foreseeable hazards that can originate from this machine. For example, the severing or crushing of limbs. Consider all phases of the machine's life, such as commissioning or maintenance, and also all operating modes, for example, setup or automatic mode. Then assess the risk, that is the sum of the probability and the extent of the potential injuries. The result of your assessment is the original risk of the hazards. You have to reduce this original risk to an acceptable residual risk through suitable measures. You accomplish this in the risk reduction phase. To reduce the risk, use the three-level method according to ISO 12100. With this method, the safe mechanical design of the machine is the number one priority. For the machine used in our example, this means an enclosure with a sliding door is to protect the operator from injury. But since the operator can open the sliding door without the machine coming to a standstill, the current residual risk is not yet acceptable. If the construction doesn't lead to an acceptable residual risk, you must, according to the three-level method, define additional technical measures in the team. For our machine, the installation of a safety position switch for door monitoring would be such a technical measure. 
In conjunction with a safe evaluation unit and two actuators, opening the sliding door then leads to the machine coming to a standstill. With an additional emergency stop commanding device, the operator can also switch off the machine in the event of danger. The assessment by the team shows that these two safety functions reduce the original risk to an acceptable residual risk. According to the three level method, no further measures are necessary in this case. Siemens nevertheless recommends that you provide supplemental user information about the remaining residual risks. For the example machine, there are two residual risks. Hot workpieces can lead to burns. Loose swarf can penetrate the skin. With a mandatory sign affixed to the machine, you should point out to all users their obligation to wear protective gloves. Now determine, depending on the original risk, a certain safety level. You can apply two different standards. The ISO 13849 Part 1 standard defines the performance level PL in the gradations A to E. On the other hand, the IEC 62061 standard uses the term safety integrity level, short SIL 1, SIL 2, and SIL 3. Here to clarify is a graphic comparison of the two levels in four different risk categories. For the safety door on our machine, the performance level PLD, or the safety integrity level SIL2, is determined. In keeping with the safety level, select the technical components with which you can implement your safety functions. For this, Siemens offers a broad portfolio of certified sensors, evaluation units, and actuators. Now check whether the safety functions that you have developed fulfill the requirements of the risk assessment. The Siemens Safety Evaluation Tool is there to help you. With this free tool, you can check whether your safety functions actually achieve the determined safety level. At www.siemens.com Safety Evaluation Tool, you will find all information about this TÜV certified online tool. Now let's get back to the three process phases. After the risk assessment and risk reduction phases, the proof phase begins. In this phase, you check and document all measures and results and declare conformity to the Machinery Directive 2006-42-EC. One part of this third phase is the validation. The validation must provide proof that all requirements on machine safety are fulfilled. For this, you verify with the help of analysis and tests that all safety specifications are fulfilled. You must clearly document the results of the validation and also all other steps in the risk assessment and risk reduction phases. Use the provisions of the machinery directive as a guide for the documentation. Finally, fill out a Certificate of Conformity that is also a mandatory part of the Machinery Directive. You will later include this Certificate of Conformity with every delivered machine. And with that, you have reached your goal and may affix the CE marking to your machine. If you would like to learn more about CE marking and machine safety, Siemens provides different support. For example, extensive safety workshops, competent consulting when preparing your own risk analysis, diverse safety application examples on the Internet, or fast on-site service. Siemens, the fast and easy way to a safe machine.